Hello, this is Angela with Parker's Permaculture. Behind me is a slumbering Athena. We will do our best not to wake her up. I just made a video where I talked about the importance of autodidacticism, the skill of teaching yourself what you need to know. And I wanted to do a quick little follow-up here. I have been teaching myself over the last two days how to weave with tablet weaving on an inkle loom. Now, I did a video recently where my eldest child is interested in portable fiber arts handcraft things, and I thought inkle weaving would be great for her. And so I was able to procure her an inkle loom, and she got it for Christmas. And she asked me a couple of days ago, hey, can you show me how to do tablet weaving on my loom? I have never done tablet weaving before. I don't know the first thing about it. I was completely clueless. So I was completely clueless. I don't know how to teach you how to tablet weave. I have no idea how to do it. And I realized she was asking me if we could connect in this process together. And so I had to teach myself how to tablet weave over the last three days. I have been binging videos by Eloisa Finchingfield. I think that's her SCA name, uh, who has probably the best tablet weaving channel on YouTube and I will link to it below. But I watched a bunch of her tutorials and I have been kind of YOLOing it a little bit. So what I've realized for me is that tablet weaving is probably not a skill I will do a bunch. It hurts my hands a little bit. Um, but I really have enjoyed the process of stretching myself and learning something new. And I'm really looking forward to teaching Ruth. In fact, last night, George came up to me while I was weaving before bed and asked me to show him the process. Just sitting out in the living room doing it with my kids has gotten their interest peaked. The kids, uh, the rest of the kids, the younger kids, I should say. So I've learned enough skills that I can confidently work with Ruth and help teach her. Um, and for me, as somebody who tends to engage in skills that I mastered a long time ago, like sewing and knitting and spinning and weaving on my jack loom and gardening, although I never seem to learn, uh, come to the end of my learning with gardening. For me, learning an entirely new skill that seems almost kind of mystical, like, oh, you turn the cards different ways and you get different patterns. And um, it's been really stretching. And I think it's so important for those of us uh, at any age, but especially those of us like me who are really kind of approaching or in middle age, to continue to, to learn new things, to be an old dog who learns new tricks. So important. It's so important for our quality of life. It's so important for, for me at least, like for my own confidence and my own, um, you know, faith in myself and how I feel about myself to say, I can learn something new. I'm still capable of growing and learning as a person, whether it's something very practical, like a craft that I'm learning how to do, or whether it's something more deep and philosophical, like learning to process my own trauma and heal from it. There is no upper limit to the age at which we can learn things. I think that's really, really important. Now, I made a video quite a while ago, oh, a long while ago, I think, where I talked about how great it is to be a beginner in permaculture. And I just wanna echo this sentiment again. Whether it is something like learning tablet weaving, whether it is something like stepping into permaculture design for the first time, being a beginner is wonderful. It's wonderful to give yourself the freedom to fail and say like, I am not an expert yet. In fact, I don't know anything about this yet. I am just beginning to learn. And it's okay if my garden has some failures the first year. It's okay if my weaving is a little bit lopsided because I don't have the tension right. I'm brand new at this. There's so much freedom that comes with being a beginner and it's so refreshing. Maybe you're like me and you're at an age in your life where there's a lot of pressure on you to have perfection because you've been doing these things for so long that you have to be an expert at it and you have to present a really highly produced and um, accurate and beautiful product to the world. To be able to step back and say like, I give myself permission to fail. I give myself permission to produce something less than perfect because I'm brand new at it. That is such a freeing place to be. I have a lot of other things I could have been doing early this morning besides weaving on my ankle loom, but I really needed for my own mental health, and really I do think it is self-care, to say I need to spend some time being a novice at something, even not even a novice, but like the most beginner beginner, and produce something 
that is not beautiful and prove to myself that I am an old dog that can learn new tricks, that I'm capable of expanding what I know. I'm capable of learning new things. I am capable of continuing to press on and grow as a person and find satisfaction in that. It's been really good for me these last couple of days to say, okay, like I don't really have time in my schedule, but my daughter's asking this of me. I'm just gonna, just gonna tackle it. I'm gonna take some time, set some time aside and tackle this. I have found it has been of an immense benefit to me personally, maybe even more than it will be to my daughter to teach her these skills. This process of being a beginner, of fumbling through those first steps, of learning something new, gives me such a sense of pride and such a sense of relief. It's been really restful and really challenging at the same time. Kind of those polar opposites, right? Like I feel challenged and my brain feels stretched and my hands feel like they're having to learn new muscle memory. And that's all really challenging, but at the same time, I can rest in the knowledge that I have low expectations of myself and the freedom that that comes, that that brings to the, to the situation. So I encourage you to try something new. Don't be afraid to be a beginner, either in permaculture or in anything that strikes your fancy. Reach out, try something new. Don't be afraid to fall on your face and fail. Don't be afraid to produce a wonky finished product. Don't be afraid to struggle on the way. It's so satisfying to be new at something. It's so satisfying to be a beginner. So give yourself that gift. Thank you for watching today. I am so close to 30,000 subscribers. If you could just click like and subscribe and share with your friends, that would be amazing. Also, please check out all of my fiber arts videos down below. Thanks again. I'll be back very soon.